Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be going over the file menu and the batch production. Now, the batch production command, what happens is that you are able to render or produce multiple files or multiple videos at the same time. So let's go ahead and click batch production. You'll see the batch production come up and you'll notice that you can use any projects or files from Camtasia in order to produce them all at the same time. Now the, with the batch, you'll be able to determine whether or not you want to produce them all the same way or whether or not you want to produce them in a different way. So let's take a look at this. So we're going to go and click this add files button and we're then going to find a number of Camtasia files and projects. What we're going to do here is pick up two Camtasia projects and in order to highlight both of them we can hit the control button and we can pick two at a time or three at a time or as many as we need to. Once we have all the files that we want, we can then click open. Now what's going to happen is that these files are now going to be placed inside of the batch production area. We can actually then go and pick more files and projects and add them to this batch production and produce them all at the same time. What we're going to do now is click the next button. And when we get to this screen, what you'll notice is that you have a drop down menu of all of the options that you have available. Now what we could do is we could choose any one of these options. We could produce MP4s from standard to high definition or the MP4 with the smart player from standard to high definition. Now those are presets that are already part of our Camtasia elements for producing video. But we can go into the preset manager and we can actually set up a different preset so that we can produce videos in a different way according to some of the other ways that Camtasia will allow us to produce videos. So let's click the preset manager and what you're going to notice is that we can then click the new button. We we'll want to give this new project preset a name and then we'll want to choose how we want the video to be produced. So let's choose AVI. Now if we wanted to have an icon associated with this project, we could do that. Now for the sake of time, we're not going to choose an icon, but you can choose one so that whenever you see visually the icon, you'll know that that preset represents the new project preset. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click next. We're going to make sure that these settings reflect what we want in our video. Again, we're going to make sure that this reflects what we want in our video. And then we'll get to the last screen where we can change some of the options. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click finish. Now we have a new project preset. So we can actually close out managing the production presets. So we are back now inside of our batch production and we can choose a new project preset. Now we could also click this link and what's going to happen is we're going to use a different production preset for each project. So we have two projects that we're producing in this batch so we're going to produce them at the same time but we're going to then use two different presets. Now what we'll need to do is we'll need to highlight this one and then we can choose a different preset. We can highlight this one and then choose a different preset. So what this allows us to do is it allows us to start our batch production, walk away from it, but yet know that we have chosen all of the right formats for each video that's going to actually be produced. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click next. We're going to choose the output folder. Now this is where it's actually going to be on your hard drive. Now one thing that we can do is we can organize all the produced files into subfolders. 
And so this is going to produce each individual video into its own subfolder. Now this can be helpful if you're not grouping your videos together, but if you are grouping your videos together or you're going to zip your file at the end, this can be especially helpful because you can go to each individual video, zip it, and then package it the way you want to have it packaged. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to click the finish button. And what's going to happen is Camtasia is going to go through producing the videos. Now obviously these are practice videos and they're not going to take as long as they might take otherwise. You might have more videos than you see here and your videos might take longer to produce. But this is the process of video production or video rendering. So what's going to happen is Camtasia is going to finish up the second video and then we're going to have a new screen open up. Okay, so now what's going to happen is Camtasia will actually give you your production results. It will show you what you have produced. And if we want to find the files that we just created, we would then click the open production fo folder. What you'll notice is that there are two folders with our video names. We can now close the production results. And that'll bring us back inside of Camtasia. And that is how you undertake a batch production. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.